I'm shutting them down. She said I'm about sacrifices. Alright, there we go. Let's move. There's where it went. She had to, somebody, had to have somebody go in and tank. That's the thing. 29 hits once and I win. You fought well. All right. Get it. Nice. Onward we march. Off with her head. Yikes. Stay alive, man. Now it's about rotating everyone forward. So, a grotesque creature was Edelgard. If she is prepared to transform her very body to fight for this future of hers, then I have no choice but to defeat her. Even if it costs me my- This is not gonna go well. Alright, let's take a look at Edelgard here, figure out what we can do with her. She's got a throne which restores, which adds 5 defense, adds 30% recovery, 40% evasion. This is gonna suck. Um, unfortunately, I've done both my gambits, so I can't really fix that. I had to pull myself out of a sticky place. Um... I don't know what her aggro on the this aggro is. Is that her aggro range here? Okay, so if we step on the stairs, it's it's go time. That's important to have up. Start working on the on the other one. Didn't think about how far your range is. Right, that's my wall. You're running the side. I don't know how much we got here, but we're gonna do what we can. How far can you make it? All right. It's important to have to do in case I need to tank, because I don't have um, Gilbert anymore. Some poor had decided to die. I need to keep wards on. I need to save my magic too. So essentially this is just... Everybody's gonna have to come forward. If I can put everyone in this little tiny square right here... I can get a boost to speed. The fact that I can poke her from that range is ridiculous. Yeah, I can gambit. I can gambit on the corner here. I can attack her. Ah! That's not good. Yikes. Why do they make her so busted? It's a final boss. Of course it's going to be difficult to beat. And, and, and. 
And you can die. Uh huh. That's the point, I think. Is it go time? I think it might be. We're in position. There's no reason not to. Honestly. Warding's gonna do nothing against Edelgard, so. Much it's called of the day. I'm just gonna walk I'm just gonna walk up and hit her a couple times. Honestly, Sublime might actually do it. Here we go. You gotta go now. 25. That's 118. 14 twice. So that's 28. 25 at 99 or 18. Just hit twice. Too slow. Get out. Sixty-two. Oh, I found her weakness. I found her weakness there. You're gonna have to combat arts everything, man. Take her out. Yeah. Here's one set. Man can't really do anything besides die. Unfortunately. To be changed beyond all recognition. That is what lies at the end of the ideals you serve so diligently. I have no pity for one such as you. If that is the future you hoped for, and you deserve no compassion. So come. Ooh. I disrespected you there. Last heart. Well, she's got two more left. She's got vantage up. She's gonna target Dimitri. Can I throw her on in my gear? I can meteor. She's just gonna kill me, though. I can, but she's just gonna kill me. Hey, Ash, you wanna do some work? There's people here now. Ash is in dust to 75. 22, it's, uh, I like that damage. 100% at 22 and a crit? I'll take, I'll take a silver bow crit, please. Or just don't do anything. If you dodge, this would be awesome, dude. All right. Well, I figured it'd be two turns. Get out of there. Figured it'd be two turns. If I can, the thing is, if I can finish her from this range with Hanuman, he doesn't die. But I don't have enough power. I just don't have enough power.
I'm not letting you die like that, bud. Alright, here we go. Somebody's gonna have to take a hit here. It's Dimitri. That's actually really good. Foolish. You're just gonna kill yourself. Honestly. Oh, that was easy. You just send Dimitri in and she just wins. Oh, there's a second one. 29. Oh, it only hits. It only amounts to 29. Next try. That's easy. GG's. Um. Enjoy your health, everybody. Alright, let's just do this. No point in, in waiting for it. Sublime Heaven, how do we got? What do we got? 34? I got 24 twice. Oh, I don't have that, man. I have to kill her here. Do you have enough yet? Twenty-five or twenty-three? Nineteen. I need all the damage I can get. I think that's enough. Sixty-six should put her in range. I hit twice. Because of everyone being here. There we go. That's what we needed. Here's advantage. Oh, so tickle. Come. If she could hit me at this close range, she might actually do something. A crit for no reason? Yeah. That's one way to finish somebody. Dude. Holy cow. Edelgard. It is over. 23 turns. Two hours, two and a half hours later. He's got a dagger! Dimitri! You gotta have help. Nope, he's not bleeding out. That's that's just okay. It's time to go, buddy. Hey, not worth it. She's dead. Oh yeah, it's, it is Dimitri. I forgot about that. It is Dimitri. He he just doesn't die, right? Even when he should die, he just doesn't. A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fodlin. Oh my gosh. The long reign of the Adrestian Empire finally met its end when the imperial capital, the city of Enbar, collapsed. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. With Fodlan united as the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Archbishop Rhea, still weak from her imprisonment, stepped down from her position. The Church of Saros began to take the needed steps to reorganize. 
Prince Dimitri formally ascended the throne, beginning his reign as the king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, which now included former alliance and imperial territories. Texts from the time claimed that the one who guided the king as he sought to create a world free from oppression became the new Archbishop of the Church of Saros. That's me. I did a thing, guys. Be proud of me. Uh, now we get the final cutscene here. Is something the matter? You seem lost in thought. Just taking a little break. I know you've been very busy lately. It's wise to take breaks and rest, especially with all that is going on in the world. Actually, I, um... I wanted to speak with you about something. I, I promised myself I would wait until the war was over. Not. I'm gonna ru I ruin everything. I'll just. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll Professor, stop. Professor, I have feelings for you. Nani? Of course, I respect you as a person, and I'll understand if you can't love me back, but. I can't. Still, I'm sorry. I can get there myself. I have to tell you. Though my focus has ever been on my duty and training, right. I cannot deny the feelings that have arisen. My dream is to attain knighthood. But now, I have a new dream to hold tight to. That is to be with you. Always. I haven't even said anything back to you yet. You know? Are you just, like, spilling all this? Um, I don't know if you want to I... do that. Um, there's something for you. Aha! Oh, is this? Bingo. I must say, I'm a little inelegant with such matters. Battle is all I know. Are you quite certain? Yes. You truly desire to share your life with me. I am yes. so happy. I I worried that my feelings would go unrequited. That's now a weird that way to say that. that is out I was open, unrequited. I feel as light as a feather. My love, I I swear to stay by your that, side. That that always. went full circle very quickly. I swear on the goddess above and on you. Here at my side, you and I together, entering this new age. No matter what That's, the future that brings, just, wait, that went from I will zero stand to 60 by you like, as seconds. your sword, your shield, and your dearest companion. There is nothing that brings me more joy. I don't like that. I don't it like that. I, I don't like it. I, need in this I don't like world. it. <laughs> I love you so very much. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm overcome. This may take some getting used to. Nani? Stop it. You know what, KS? Calm yourself, man. I deserve that. All right, what do we got at the end? Let's look at this. I got to read really fast. Because this thing just goes fast. Yeah, the other three were better. Way better. White clouds. Oh, my gosh. We have done it. We have done it. That's it. I've beaten all four stories of <laughs> three houses. Yikes. Holy cow. It's been a long series, guys. It's been long. I've been playing this game since, like, January of 2020. <laughs> And by the time this ep this is coming out, it's probably like January of 2022 or something. But like, it has definitely been the longest series I've ever done, the longest game I've ever played, like front to front to end. Just so many hours were poured into this. And... Sheesh. Although I really have enjoyed it every step of the way. I've had my doubts here and there, of course you always do. Uh, of how well the series will be accepted and received. But also, I've really enjoyed playing this and just had a great time trying to figure out strategies, trying to figure out ways to keep people from dying all over the place, because that happens a lot. Um, but yeah, we've done it. All three. Very, very long series. 
And it'll be cool. To, it'll be cool to look back on this. Like I'll be watching this with you guys and be like, ah, man, that was so long ago. It was just like yesterday. Ah, uh, but we move on to bigger and greater things. I have no idea what series playing now since I've been taking a break in between. I have no idea what's gonna be where and what we're gonna be at right now. I have no idea what we've done. So once I have all that figured out. You know, just stay tuned for the next series, because I, I can't tell you what it is, because I have no idea. Like, I can't see, like, five years into the future and predict uh, where I'll be at. Yeah, Dimitri definitely wins MVP that last battle. So many times, they're just like, hey, I'm behind you. You're dead. Alright. Let's see what our data says. Who gets with who? Fun part of the story. Let's see. Cyril. Yeah, you suck. Unable to serve Rhea any longer, seriously nearly left the church. He was persuaded to stay, however, to assist in rebuilding the monastery he'd helped maintain. Thanks to his devoted work ethic, Officer's Academy was able to reopen a few years later. When the newest students took reception hall, Ciro found himself among them. Oh, Ciro, yeah, that's that's usual what happens. He becomes a member of the Officer's Academy. Alois. So all the fighting had come to an end, Alois officially took up the position of Captain of the Knights of Ceros in his capacity. He was much beloved and had the knights that became more unified than ever in his command. They said that his accomplishments during the tenure were beyond even what Gerald's troop had, had achieved. It's, I'm have I can't read and we're reading long text dialogues very quickly. It's gonna end being a way. Said that remained at the monastery and worked to restore the authority of the Church of Sarah's. Doing away with his old strictness, he adopted a tolerant stance towards all. His encouragement and of believers to those respective other faiths help people fall and find common ground with others. There you go. I that was a hard one to read. It also didn't help the text like point two font. But Scythia returned home to help her parents restore their family land. Years later, when the end of the hard work was finally in sight, she relinquished House Ordelia's claim to nobility, right ceding the territory to a nearby lord. Shortly thereafter she and her family disappeared into obscurity. That's kind of a sad thing. Jimmy! No! <laughs> I used Shamir twice? Oh yeah, the two I had to use. Shortly after the war, Shamir gave up mercenary life and disappeared. Though she never was heard from again, rumors persist. Okay, that one's usually. She was an archer, lined her pockets with money because of it. Yeah. There you, that way you've seen that one before. Come on, give me something new. Give me the class, the classmates. Caspar! Oh, this will be fun. After the war, Caspar set out alone on a journey of self-discovery. He traveled every corner of Fobland and he even ventured abroad now and again. He said that he got into mischief at every turn, but that the victims of his antics always uh, always more amused and harmed and offended, resembled him fondly in the past stories onto the future generations. That's cool. When Rhea resigned her position of Archbishop and left the Church of Ceres, oh gosh. Look, I can't help it that I'm sitting here not pressing buttons. Game? Catherine follows. She devoted herself wholly to Rhea's protection and the two lived a life of quiet seclusion. The Thunderbrand remained always by her side. She became known as a different name, the Guardian of Xanado. Hmm. Game we read in. Ignatz, the worldly artist. Yes, he did what he needed to do. After returning home, Ignatz persuaded his family that he should become a painter. He traveled all over through Foden and beyond, painted beautiful landscape and captivating portraits of the world's cultures. His unique style set the artistic paradigm for a generation. That's my son. That's my son. That's my son. Blaine. Blaine disappeared soon after the war, and over time it was all but forgotten that she had existed. Many long years later, however, a young woman resurfaced and completely untransformed Fogland. She looked to the man who stood by her side. He wondered if it would be alright in this new era to call him father. So her and, um, uh, uh, what's his face, said it disappeared. The Blade Breaker 2! Of course it is. The only rejoined up with the mercenaries, formerly led by Gerald. As his great apprentice, she took, quickly took on a leadership role and eventually inherited the title of Bladebreaker. She became known as Gerald II, and she began to resemble him in all things, including his drinking habits. She left behind many unpaid tavern tabs. That, that's about right. That's always where you begin to end up. Gilbert is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Wounded in the clash of the Imperial Capital, Vernon Reign, 1186, died of his wounds soon after the war. Yeah, I couldn't do anything about that one. Let's see what happens to Annette because of it. Annette returned home to her hometown of Ferdia, where she took up a teaching position at the Royal School of Sorcery. Okay. She was a gifted instructor, and many of her students went on to become world-renowned sages. Though her talent for teaching was remarkable in its own right, 
She was perhaps most remembered by effortlessly securing the trust and respect of all her students, as well as inspiring all who knew her a life of kindness, cheer, and humility. That's kind of sad that she just goes back home and... Yeah. Oh, Hannah and Manuela? That's weird. After the war, Hannah and Manuela held a grand wedding ceremony to which all of their many students were invited later. Ah, that's cool. Later, Garrick Bach became to restore the Officer Academy, finally reopened with a uh, renewed focus on the accepting students of regardless of tests. Manuela and Hanneman returned to work as teachers almost if nothing had changed and they filled the hall with their banter and only married couples came. Their relationship spawned the trend of romances among college colleagues at the Officer's Academy. That entirely That's an entirely different story. They finally got married to each other after all these years. Ash and Mercedes. Okay. After the war, Ash was formally knighted and appointed to the head of House Gaspard, which is no successors. The young, inexperienced lord faced a great deal of difficulty in governing, though he was famously tenac tenacious and never lost heart. It was perhaps only due to this constant counsel of his wife, Mercedes, that he managed to overcome all obstacles. When not by governing their territory, the couple lifted one another's spirits by baking delicious sweets for each other. The addition was so heartwarming that it became popular for husbands and wives in the region to do the same for generations. That would pit so well. Okay, what are these two guys? They get married? What? <laughs> After the word Felix and Sylvain Hare, their respected titles as Duke of Feldarius and Margrave Gautier, and set to restoring the kingdom. Each led a busy life, but that only seemed to enhance their friendship over the years. Each became known for making surprise visits to the estate of each other in order to deliver the latest taunting and friendly but relentless game of one-upmanship. It is said that in later years they became so close that they passed away on the same day, as conceding that one would never live without the other. Well, that's cool. So Margrave is a is a title. I didn't think they'd get together either with anybody. After his coronation, Dimitri assumed the throne of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, and his loyal vassal Dudu remained ever at his side. Among Dimitri's achievements was a reconciliation with Dusker, an extraordinary event effort that required extensive no negotiation to get past the history of betrayal and oppression. It was a trying task, but Dimitri never once considered giving up. While they behaved as lord and vassal in public, that said that Dimitri and Dudu were more like family and private. When Dimitri finally fell ill with sickness, Dudu tended to his legion's deathbed and then took up the post of his grave. The rest of his days, when they came to be buried, they were buried together. And of course, me and Ingrid. Chaos announced his marriage to Ingrid shortly after his conceding Rhea as a new archbishop. Together, they made great strides in helping restore the kingdom of Fuldland to its former glory and beyond. Though Ingrid provided counsel to the archbishop as his wife, she also became a ruined renowned Holy Knight of Syros. Most famously, she paired Insurgent's Blade with her own weapon just before it struck the archbishop's neck. Tales of the archbishop who ended the, the long war on his valiant wife, Ingrid. Lived on in storybooks for generations. So, like, I knew they went. Well, that's I'm well. I guess Ash and Mercedes got together. That's that's cool. I wonder what um, Gustav's story would have been had he not died. Like a little 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 pain in the butt. I have no idea. Uh, man. They finally got married. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be the best twist. At the end of that, it's like, yeah, they uh, they actually married each other. It's funny. Yeah. Oh man, what a game, guys. What a game. Ah. Uh. Highly recommended. Instantly became one of my favorite games I've ever played, so... You guys like tactics, strategy, battle, turn-based battle? Um, check it out, definitely. Um, and I don't even know if this is gonna be the end of Fire Emblem for me entirely. Uh, there is a chance that I come back to it at some point. Uh, well, not—I mean, this game specifically. There's a chance I come back to it at some point for a, um, a challenge or some kind of specialty video i have no idea what that's gonna be but i am gonna put this to bed for a little bit because i've been playing this game for two years so i need to take a little bit of a break before i decide to play it again um, jamie i'm gonna add all i'm gonna edit that out by the way i'm gonna find a way to edit that out maybe i don't know tell me if i edited that out if you ask what's that, then then I did. No. Was no. I know what had happened. <laughs> I wanna see it. <laughs> oh, man. 
I do like this remix of this song, by the way. It's so good. There's such good music in this game. Oh, man, but what a good game. I don't know how I've done this episode. I've been recording for two hours and 40 minutes at this point. Um, I know there's some cuts that I made in the battle, but I don't know where else, um, like what I cut out, how long the final battle is. Um, I don't know if I did it similar to a previous battle or some of the previous battles where I kind of chopped them up into pieces. Um, because they took way too long otherwise, but, um, yeah, I, I'm trying to, like, allow the credits to continue playing while I don't, so I don't end, but I feel like I need to be talking, and I don't, I don't have no idea, man. Uh, I will say this, if you have a specific game you'd like me to play for, um, for Fire Emblem, for Invisible Corporations, let me know. Um, or if you have any collaborative series you want to see, um, feel free to let me know either in our Discord server or my Discord server in the comment section. Just you can even tweet at us. We'll, we'll somebody will see it and we will uh, get back to you or consider it. So, uh, just the, with, with how many people we have working on this, and I don't even know if we have more. Or if we've changed anybody at this point in the time, because it's been it's been a long series. It's been a long. I don't know if I'll ever do something like this again. Over a hundred episodes. <laughs> oh my. But hey, it's an achievement, man. It's a really cool achievement. The other fun thing is I've been streaming for like eight hours, eight and a half hours at the point of uh, finishing this. So, uh, that's cool. That is really cool to finally to finally put this game aside so we finished it. There is DLC. I'm just saying there, there is DLC to this game. I mean it could happen. <laughs> if you if you, if there's like 150 ep episode 150, Chaos Returns playing all the way back at the beginning with the new people oh that'd be that'd be quite a trip i will also say that a lot of the um supports for specifically the um black eagles and the blue lions kind of got missed there are plenty of supports only stories out there that you can watch on youtube so if you want to see all those put together, you can go back and uh, you can go and do that. Of course, I covered all the Golden Deer because that was the first White Cloud series I did, and then the rest of them I hadn't really uh, covered too much into. So I, I might I probably missed some stuff. Yeah, and also there's there's videos out there for all the endings too if you want to see those. Because I I had to go back I had to go back and watch the one for Claude when I. Uh, you skipped over it, cause that was fun. It's actually mash a, mashing. You know, you could make it a goal of the series as well to play the DLC. Five thousand likes, I'll play the DLC on this episode. Five thousand, that's the number. Dave told me that number. All right, I'm gonna move my control stick so I don't lose my controller. But. DLC. The DLC for this game, there is a, um, I think it's called Ashen, Ashen Wolves, and it gives you four new characters that weren't in the main story, and um, you essentially just get them, I think you get them in a house, like you can just choose whatever house you want to play as, and then you get those four characters, you can recruit them, or something. I, don't know, I haven't looked into it. You know, I've just been playing the game as I have been. Wanted to play it at base level first, and then... If I really decided I wanted to play it again, this game again, you know, I could just go do that. Yeah. I really wish I could tell you what the next series is going to be, but I have no idea. It does have another, like, ending story as well. So, there is another part. They're really OP. Oh yeah, they are very, very OP. I know that much about them. Oh, man. 
Such good music, all the way through, man. So good. Is there a way to speed this up? <laughs> I like how I just now check. I can skip. There's no way to, like, speed the... They're probably timed to music, and that's why. So... There it is, boys! Thank you for the resub! I know, almost a year since I've played this game. It's crazy. Thank you for the resub, the 11 months, I really appreciate it. Because I want to give credit to the people who made the game, Nico. Edits with a Z? Yo, I see you, game. I see you, edits with a Z. That's cool. Yeah, it's always important to give credit to the people. Be it boring. Well, it's important to, you know, give credit to people who did a good job on their work. Also, that background, if you could, like, make it brighter would be a nice background for a, a stream. I mean, I've watched these credits how many times now? Four? Four? I don't know. Mario Club Company? What? So you learned something new. Rina Watanabe. And I wonder if uh, they're related to the Watanabe I like. That's the Pokemon stuff. Oops, so you're writing all the names? No. But you love it and the music is awesome. I will say. I mean, you're watching all the names go by. And if you clicked off the video, you suck. Just saying. You made it as far in the video, comment potato down below. Don't ask me why it's potato. Try pronouncing one of them and Lynn. Got it. Boom. Get Rex Scrub. <laughs> you picked the easiest one. You said just one of them. Why a potato? Because I chose potato. You know? That's too east. Easy. That's your problem. You said pick one and I just and it just happened to be in the North American you know group of people. But, <sighs> I don't know how much longer this is going to be, but I do want to thank you guys for watching again, and uh, thank you for supporting us. It's always fun to end a series, but it also kind of sucks too, because, you know, if you really enjoyed yourself, you want to play it more, and, you know, there's not... I mean, I could always go play the DLC, that's what I was talking about. You know, you know maybe, that, maybe that's what drops right after this. Nani? Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I didn't know that was coming. Well, you should have, you know, understood that. Ah, man. What a crazy, crazy series. There's a lot of languages in this. You know? Not. There's a lot of them, man. I'm assuming they're just going through, like, all of the... It's hoping you pronounce the Japanese name. Why? But they haven't got the Japanese yet. Look how Digital Hearts is in the Chinese section of this. They have to break them down by section, by like nationality too. They did before, well, I wasn't looking at them then. Michaela Coke! That name sounds familiar. I don't know why, but it does. Will I be doing another series that has a lot of different stories again? Potentially. I mean, I've been asked about doing Shadow of the Hedgehog at some point, so, um, but that is, like, that's a lot different than this game, because Shadow of the Hedgehog, you can kind of beat a story in a, in a, in a video, it, it's like 30 minutes to beat a story if you know how to play the game, which, it's, it's a Sonic game, so it's not that bad, um, although it is kind of glitchy, but, um, yeah, that, that one's something I could do, it would be a while. There's all the copyright stuff. Ah. Don't blame me. Resident Evil 4. Why does everyone keep suggesting we Resident Evil games, bro? We just had one on the channel by the time we recorded this, you know? The end. That's the screen we want to see! Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you. Again, check out the channel. Make sure you check out the rest of the content creators. Their links in the description down below. Their videos are coming out throughout the week. Check them all out. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the content creators in the description down below. And thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of the community. Appreciate you guys watching. 
and I hope you have enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. So until then, my name is Chaos, and I'm signing off. Stay safe, and as always, burn it up. <laughs>